Welcome to our time of scripture reading and devotional reflection for Friday, July the 8th, 2022. I'm Pastor Brian J. Monroe, and this is coming to you from my office in Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. There are three passages of scripture for me to read for you so that you can hear scripture as the vast majority of scripture uh, vast majority of Christians have encountered the word is through the hearing of it and the word of God isn't like other words it isn't like other words it isn't like other writings it isn't like anything created by people just on their own it's divine and inspired and in the hearing of it Uh, you may find that you are affected in a way that you had not counted on. And I pray that will be a good revelation to you. So I'll read the scriptures for us and uh, pray in response to them. And then uh, I'll have a short devotional for us to consider as well. Let's begin with Psalm 82, a psalm of Asaph. God has taken his place in the divine council. In the midst of the gods, he holds judgment. How long will you judge unjustly and show partiality to the wicked? Give justice to the weak and the fatherless. Maintain the right of the afflicted and the destitute. Rescue the weak and the needy. Deliver them from the hand of the wicked. They have neither knowledge nor understanding. They walk about in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are shaken. I said, you are gods. Sons of the Most High, all of you. Nevertheless, like men, you shall die and fall like any prince. Arise, O God, judge the earth for you shall inherit all the nations. And next is Amos chapter 2, verses 4 to 11. Thus says the Lord, For three transgressions of Judah, and for four, I will not revoke the punishment, because they have rejected the law of the Lord. They have not kept his statutes, but their lies have led them astray. Those after which their fathers walked. So I will set a fire upon Judah, and it shall devour the strongholds of Jerusalem. Thus says the Lord. For three transgressions of Israel, and for four, I will not revoke the punishment, because they sell the righteous for silver and the needy for a pair of sandals. Those who trample the head of the poor into the dust of the earth and turn aside the way of the afflicted. A man and his father go in to the same girl so that my holy name is profaned. They lay themselves down beside every altar on garments taken in pledge and in the house of their God they drink the wine of those who have been fined. Yet it was I who destroyed the Amorite before them, whose, heights, whose height was like the height of cedars and who was as strong as the oaks. I destroyed his fruit above and his roots beneath. Also it was I who brought you up out of the land of Egypt and led you 40 years in the wilderness to possess the land of the Amorite. And I raised up some of your sons for prophets prophets, and some of your young men for Nazarites. Is it not indeed so, O people of Israel, declares the Lord? Acts chapter 7, verses 9 to 16. And the patriarchs, jealous of Joseph, sold him into Egypt, but God was with him and rescued him out of all his afflictions and gave him favor and wisdom before Pharaoh, king of Egypt, who made him ruler over Egypt and over all his household. Now there came a famine throughout all Egypt and Canaan with great affliction, and our fathers could find no food. 
But when Jacob heard that there was grain in Egypt, he sent our fathers on their first visit. And on the second visit, Joseph made himself known to his brothers, and Joseph's family became known to Pharaoh. And Joseph sent and summoned Jacob, his father, and all his kindred, 75 persons in all. And Jacob went down into Egypt, and he died, he and our fathers. And they were carried back to Shechem and laid in the tomb that Abraham had bought for a sum of silver from the sons of Hamor in Shechem. This is your word, Almighty Father God. May you be praised eternally for the gracious and generous provision of it to us. And may we be granted through the power of your Holy Spirit the blessing of hearing and understanding and receiving your word into us, into our very spirits, that it, therein it may work what is good and pleasing to your will. This we pray to your glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, our soon returning King. Amen. And now for July the 8th, a reading from uh, Oswald Chambers' My Utmost for His Highest. Uh, we read The Will to Loyalty. But if serving the Lord seems undesirable to you, then choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve, whether the gods of your ancestors served beyond the gods your ancestors served beyond the Euphrates, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are living. But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Joshua chapter 24, verse 15. Will is the whole man or person active. I cannot give up my will, I must exercise it. I must will to obey, and I must will to receive God's Spirit. When God gives a vision of truth, it is never a question of what He will do, but of what we will do. The Lord has been putting before us some big propositions and the best thing to do is remember what you did when you were touched by God before, the time when you were saved, or first saw Jesus, or realized some truth. It was easy then to yield allegiance to God. Recall those moments now, as the Spirit of God brings before you some new proposition. Choose this day who you will serve. It is a deliberate calculation, not something into which you drift easily, and everything else in abeyance until you is in abeyance until you decide. The proposition is between you and God. Do not confer with flesh and blood about it. With every new proposition, other people get more and more out of it. That is where the strain comes. God allows the opinion of his saints to matter to you, and yet you are brought more and more out of the certainty that others understand the step you are taking. You have no business to find out where God is leading. The only thing God will explain to you is himself. Profess him, I will be loyal. Immediately you choose to be loyal to Jesus Christ, you are a witness against yourself. <clears throat> Don't consult other Christians, but profess before him. I will serve you. Will to be loyal and give other people credit for being loyal too. Almighty Father God, you, you give us this ability to choose, to choose our will and choose to be loyal to you. You've shown us everything. You've done everything. We... There's nothing that we are doing that's, that's gaining our salvation. We are simply declaring whether we are for you or against you, whether we are with you or away from you, whether we have you at the very center of our life guiding and shaping us, or if we are guiding and shaping on our own, which is utter rebellion and following your enemy. It is a simple, straightforward choice. It is a simple, straightforward act. Help us to act rightly and give glory to your name. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, 
our Savior, our Redeemer, our soon returning King. Well, I thank you for spending some time listening to scripture being read and prayers and devotionals being read and more prayers. And uh, until we are able to be together again to do more of the same, I bid you, in the name of Jesus Christ, Shalom. Shalom.